Hey there crew, it's Mark and in today's video we're going to be checking out a new pen stash that I got. My buddy Bryce over at Luxury Brands of America sent me over some pens to try out and I just got a new purchase that I made from Atlas Stationers of some pens that I've had my eye on and one that is a totally different nib that I've never used before. So let's go ahead and have some fun. We'll go ahead and first start off with what we'll be putting our pens into. So this is a new to me, really cool 24 pen zippered case. This is from Giologio. I always hope that I say that name correctly, but this is just absolutely beautiful. I love this color. So this comes in a few different colors. I got this in this saddle tan color here, uh, but it also comes in bomber brown, just a regular brown and also black and a cotton denim as well, which is kind of interesting, but I like this one the best. So over here, you're going to have 12 spaces for your pens and then you open up this little pocket to show off even more. So this is protecting your pens as you're storing them so they're not rubbing up against each other. And we'll be slowly filling this up with some nice things, but really loving the way that this one looks. Excited to have it as a part of my collection because my other pen storage is uh, getting a little full. Let's go ahead and start out with the pens that Bryce sent me from Luxury Brands of America. So I actually became an ambassador with them. Maybe it was last year or so. So every now and again, I'll get a handful of pens to try out and take a look at and use. And so when I got to pick a next one, I said, let's do something sparkly. And this does not disappoint, right? This is called Vodka on the Rocks. This is a part of Bennu's Euphoria collection. Like, how can you not? Like, look how sparkly that is. They also have this in a few other, like, very sparkly ones, too. Hollywood Bling, Millennium Jazz, Bourbon is really nice. That might be another one on my list here. I decided to get this in a fine tip. I'm kind of in this spot right now where, like, I like extra fine, but I'm also finding that, like, mediums write really nice with the inks as well. So I feel like fine was my, my middle point for this one here. Bryce also sent me some ink as well. So carbon black is the one we're going to be using today uh, for all these little just pen swatches real quick. I'm not fully loading the pens up. I'm just dipping it in so we can see how that nib looks. I think what I love most about the Benno pens, just like the resin is just so nice and like it just looks so cool. I also love with this pen too, because it's clear but has some of that sparkle in there, you can see the converter through here a little bit. So I think that's going to look really cool if you've got your pen loaded up. We have a fine point iridium nib on this one here. Just loving it all together. The black, the sparkle, the nib, all the stuff is good. This pen itself runs for about $157, but if you purchase this from Atlas Stationers and use my discount code, mark your pages 10, it's actually gonna save you almost $16 off of that pen. So a good savings, beautiful pen. Excited to have it as a part of my collection. All right, second pen we're taking a look at is going to be from Waldman. My Waldman pens that I have are just, they're just, the quality of them is so nice. First of all, this box, how these open is just, I love it a whole lot. So inside of this one here, we have the Waldman Chess. This pen has a beautiful black lacquer on here, super shiny, very smooth. I also love this too because the pen itself is just very thin. It's much thinner than like any other pen that I have. You've got platinum plated hardware on top of here. Also, this cap has, it's called Giloche. I'm hoping that I'm saying that right, but essentially it's just this highly decorative technique and metalworking. So you'll see like really cool looking like checkered print that's on here. I'm guessing that's maybe why it's called the chess. I'm assuming maybe you could get this engraved on here. It has like this empty nameplate here. How cool would that be to get a pen like this engraved and use this all the time? The pen itself comes ready to take different cartridges. They have just an empty one inside of here. Um, they also give you cartridges. They give you a wonderful cloth that you can wipe your pen off with since it can get fingerprints on it. Uh, but you also get a converter in here as well to use with your pen. So you really get everything with these. Now the pen itself can be a little up there. The Waldman Chess runs between 175 and 220. Um, that's kind of the price range that I've seen it online. So I say definitely if you're interested in a nice pen like this, just make sure you're getting a good price on it. Unfortunately, I didn't see it on the Atlas Stationer site or else I would try to get you a discount. For myself, I got this one in a medium nib. I'm definitely trying different things. I mean, the pen itself, it feels almost like you're writing with a pencil. That's just how thin it is. I'm really feeling this medium nib on this. I think it's kind of this idea that it's like a nice thin pen, yet it's writing nice and bold on here. Feels really good. It's gliding right across the page. This is not scratchy at all. This is smooth as butter. 
So those were the two that I got from Luxury Brands of America. Thanks again to Bryce for sending those out. Now we're going to check out the three pens that I just purchased from Atlas myself because I couldn't help myself. So the first one here is going to be this Lamy. This is the Lamy Safari fountain pen. This one usually runs around $29, $30, depending where you're purchasing it from. This is one of the items, though, that you can use my discount code over on Atlas. Save you a few extra bucks. So this one is just yellow. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Help it. I saw this one and I was like, I don't have anything like it. I have my blue one, which was my very first fountain pen that I've ever had. So when I saw the yellow, I just said, Mark, get it because it's super nice, <laughs> right? I love these so much because they already have kind of the pen grip here. So it's very comfortable to use. These versions are made out of a ABS plastic, which just make them super light and super affordable. The one thing is that with these pens, if you do purchase the Lamy's, you do have to purchase the converter separately. Otherwise it uses cartridges, but these are not very expensive. Maybe six bucks, I think is what they usually are, but I really appreciate it. Of course, you can use these between your different pens, right? If you have Lamy's, you can use them, um, but I always just buy one of each because each pen deserves their own converter and I love it a lot. I'm just a firm believer that your pen should really showcase your personality. And you know, sometimes you want to be bright. So I got this one in a medium nib. But isn't it so interesting the difference between a medium nib with the Lamy and the medium nib with the Waldman? Like these feel like completely different pens. Because if you want that bold writer, like bam, that's right there for you. But this one's feeling great. So excited to have this part of my collection now. Go join your friends. Alrighty, next pen I picked up. So I only picked this one up because of the nib. I was looking for something a little bit different. So this is the Pilot Prira. The color is considered black, but the only part that's black is like this kind of like smoke color that's on the back. When I first took the pen out, I thought that this was actually one of those back piston filled pens. I didn't really pay a lot of detail when I was purchasing it. I should have paid more attention. And I'm over here like trying to twist it, but it's just the extra decoration that's on here. This is actually a converter. It's different than any of the other converters um, that I have, which always interesting to check out new things. Much larger on the end here, instead of a spring like some of my other ones, it has these little metal balls in it, but it works exactly the same. Nothing's different uh, in how it exactly works, but just something to pay attention to, especially if you're like, I wanna have one converter that works for all my pens. Uh, this is not it for you. So like I said, the reason I got this pen was because of the nib. So this is my very first medium italic nib. So if we go ahead and take a look at like the Waldman medium and you have this one from Pilot, it's flat on the edge instead of being kind of pointed, right? So very different and very interested to actually see what this pen writes like. So obviously very different from any of the other pens that we have. The italic just has a much more, just a thick line vertically, but horizontally, a much thinner line so when you're writing with it it feels a lot different so you're getting some of that calligraphy nib vibe from it so this pen runs about 60 dollars. unfortunately no discounts over on atlas for this brand but still very cool this also comes in other non-italic so if you like the way the pen looks but don't want it in that italic nib they have other options for you all right, and the last one we're gonna be looking at is Sailor. This is the Hokoro. I have one of these pens. What's cool about these pens is that the nibs can be interchangeable. So I have some other ones I've purchased over time, which are really cool. I love the fact that you can just fit it to whatever body you want. What's special about this one for me is that it has a Fude nib. What's so cool about these nibs is that it's supposed to imitate writing with a brush. And it's doing that by utilizing the nib here, which, is very different looking, laying flat like this. It actually looks like the nib has been damaged, right? Like it fell on the floor and it's been bent, but that's what these nibs look like. So what's cool with it is that when we're writing with this flatter side here, you're gonna get the thicker parts of that. And then if you're pulling up just a little bit, you're only gonna get that tip and then that's gonna be a lot thinner looking. So I've actually never written with a Fude nib before. I've used brushes as pens before, but let's, let's see what we look like. These pens run about $16. You can get them from a bunch of different places. Again, I got these from Atlas. I don't think you can use my discount code on this one. Certain brands just doesn't work on, but that's okay. The other ones worked out great. I'll still link all of these products down in the descriptions for you below though, if you're interested in checking out more. Now this one really isn't gonna 
fit inside of my pen holder here. But all the other pens we took a look at are in here. Of course, that Benno fits in there nice because that is a thick boy. The Lamy works well. I'm in love with this Walman. This is just so thin and so nice. Again, a little overpowered for the space here, but really excited to have checked all these out. So I've got all of my pens now put away in my beautiful new pen case. I love this thing so much. Adding to that extra storage that I have and sub compartmentalizing my pen collection as well. Now that I have them all unboxed, it's time to add them to my digital catalog. And if you haven't checked out that video, I'll link it right here for you and down in the descriptions below. Cataloging all of my pens and ink in a digital way using Airtable free template. You gotta love it. Make sure to check it out.